Hello, hi there gorgeous Capricorns and welcome to your love forecast for May 2017 and I'm Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and how I work is I work with my spirit guides. <laughs> so if you're watching me for the first time or um, do you know, I've got loads of videos here so do check them out, some of them are horoscopes and some of them are tutorials on things that are spiritual and if you like what you hear today then do like, do subscribe, do share. So how I work is I work with my spirit guides which is a little bit different to um, other people who give readings or do horoscopes but that's how I work that's how I do my services so it's pretty much them giving the message that they want you to be thinking about sort of the insight in a very general way when it comes to your love life um, to help you navigate through the month as well so 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 um, I'm going to start and it's literally like a week by week sort of thing but the overall feeling that I got straight away guys when I was looking at um this with 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 my spirit guides was that it felt it feels a bit like this like you start really high at the beginning of the month and then somehow you kind of go a bit like this and then get back up again <laughs> so emotionally like you start really high a lot of you in a really good place in a really good mood particularly when it comes to your love life and pretty much what my guides are saying here that a lot like there's lots of like lots of events happening almost for lots of you so if you're single that that first week I have to say very good for meeting a new person that is just 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 perfection for you good like I feel like whoever this is would put you on a pedestal basically like they they absolutely idolize you so if you're single and want to be active that is the week guys to do it but also I'm just getting loads of things like you know lots of Capricorns would be giving birth you know if you're female that month a lot of parents going to be there I'm getting lots of people that just feel like they've just got over a hurdle in a situation when it comes to love and romance and they're now again feeling on top of the world new beginnings new hope seeing things positively being clear about things you're very content very content so much so that it feels to me that you know like oh, i don't know <laughs> if i don't know if I've had, I've had this but basically this is how my guys are making me feel like so much wonderfulness is happening you're meeting somebody so you're dating a lot and you're seeing each other enough or you have just given birth or you know there's a new direction that you and your partner are going or your husband or your wife you're going into there's loads of plans and lots of this but it feels like there's so much that you can get exhausted just by <laughs> there being so much greatness do you understand particularly for those of you who are you know expecting a child <laughs> as well or maybe this is a grandchild as well but basically it just feels to me that you are overwhelmed in the second week by all the great stuff that's happening which I know should be like 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 normally that would you feel overwhelmed when it's negative stuff but I think it can also happen in the opposite because that's how my guides make me feel like like you just want to have a break from doing too much I think or even even too much of the fun stuff and it feels to me that also that you and your partner or you, you and your new pit person have been spreading spreading yourselves very thin with your money and that is probably in also that second week it starts to play catch up with you, with you both, because I'm not getting it, it's an isolated thing, that actually too much of a good thing is coming and sort of causing you to just want to say, you know what, we just need to calm down, <laughs> we need to either see each other less or do things that are less costly basically um but also just feeling very much for you guys and maybe not necessarily for your partner that you're just wanting to have a bit of a you time basically because sometimes it's great of course it's great to have that connection and to build that bond but sometimes we can lose ourselves in somebody else so it's kind of like asking particularly like i was saying the later part of the second week if you kind of just wanted to say you know what just for a few days i just want to remember who I am and just have a break because it's feeling great but it's just like exhaustingly fun it's like going to the fun fair going on all the rides and you've had such a great time but then at the end of the day you feel a bit sick because <laughs> you've had too much fun that's pretty much how it's saying is you just need to have that kind of time to be present to kind of just whittle down and to just say right let's just settle down let's just be normal you just like like you know just settle best way that I can describe this and I think every everybody and everything we need to have that ebb and flow because we can't live too much in the negative can we and we can't always always live all the time in high 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 sort of adrenaline factoring kind of happiness because 
it, it does trigger actual chemical responses. Both of those things do, which actually psychologically we can't always maintain. <laughs> Even, even the good stuff so finding that balance I think is basically what my guides are saying here the balance in between to reset so that you can then get ready to go up again to get me in the third week though interestingly because even though I get those exhaustion I think for some of you you really will be exhausted <laughs> not for everybody but I get that for some of you you really really are exhausted and also, this can be the thing. Sometimes when things are just going so, so right, when just then, then when just the smallest bad thing happens, or perhaps somebody says something, because I feel it's you that wants to break, whereas the other person recognises the money element with things, but doesn't necessarily, they, 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 they kind of feel like a bit like you're withdrawing, and that's not the case. So basically, that could cause a bit of conflict because that other person wants to drag you back up to the top and you're like you know I want I want to but just like give me <laughs> give me some breathing spaces for a little bit <laughs> you know and they're sort of taking it really personally which then could lead to again uh, uh, in that third week a bit of miscommunication but also they're just saying here that where you also have been so high in your emotions that actually even with having that break there may be a small number of you that then find it hard to get back up because of that body memory of it being a little bit exhausting i hope some of you get what i mean um like it's like the older you get you don't really want to go party <laughs> not in the same way you did when you were like 20 <laughs> and if somebody mentioned it you're like oh yeah that sounds fun but um, i'd rather go to a restaurant or I'd rather stay at home and watch netflix there's that, a bit of that kind of going on where your motivation to not want to be go, 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 party, 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 whereas the other person just kind of wants to live that way and always taking it personally when you don't or not getting it, that there is a bit of that little bit of tension that may make you feel like you're going down in the connection considering to where you was at the beginning of the month. But it's just going to pass. It's just, it's just one of those life things that sometimes... We just need to give ourselves a rest. <laughs> and that's how it is. And I think this will apply no matter what, whether you're you know, in a connection or not. Even if you're single, it's just coming out as that you will still, even with friends and stuff, have this high time. And then just still like you just want to be like, no, no, no. That's enough for me now, guys. I, you know, all, all things in moderation, <laughs> basically. So don't do that. And it feels to me also, my guys are saying here, that particularly some of you have connections with Geminis where they will do what Geminis can do sometimes is when they feel like you're not with them, especially in the fun place, that they will switch um, and be a little bit more harsh on you unnecessarily, basically. So if you've got a Gemini in your life that third week, <laughs> if you're not all go, 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 they take it personally and they temporarily de switch on you where there could be probably more conflict than with any other star sign, basically, unnecessarily. And trust me, it, with respect to Geminis, if you're watching, it's their fault for being too over the top. So you are in your right to feel like they're being over the top in that third week. OK, um, in the fourth week, in the fourth week. I have to, I mean, I'd just be mindful because I know for some of you, particularly with what I just said, whether it was a Gemini or not, um, for those of you who had, have got a partner that's kind of like, come on now, I want to have more partying, I want to do more fun stuff, that you, it, it, you're a bit annoyed with them, basically, <laughs> for ruining your own bubble, for ruining your mood um, a little bit. Um, but it's only temporary. It's only temporary. If, again, like I said, you start high, you go a little bit, then you go back up again. And that's kind of what happens. So you kind of get over yourself. There's better communication in that fourth week. And in a way, the other person, particularly with their, if they have affected you in the way I've just said, recognises what they've done and becomes reasonable, basically. And it helps you to kind of lift yourself back to that balanced place, which then in turn gets you to go, OK, let, here's the compromise. We'll do this. That is fun. That will appeal to me. And will also appeal to you and we get back to that place. But but also like you voicing, but sometimes I need to do this or sometimes I need to focus on work or sometimes I need to focus on the child. You know, whatever this is, that there's an understanding, better communication than perhaps there was in April about 
how you can basically meet each other's needs in a way that is fair. So I love this about you this month in any connection that you have. It is about highs and lows and balances, but communication and compromise when it comes to relationships greatly. It's a lovely one. And it feels to me also as well, for some Capricorns in that third week, and I don't know how this relates, but I'm just going to tell you it because that's what my guides are saying here, that some of you really feel very spiritually aware of your connection in that month. So I feel for those of you who perhaps are new, and maybe it's been a few months, that actually you start to recognise that in that month you're starting to fall in love, or that you're recognising that that person is your soulmate. It, like there's more of a rec recognition because of the journey that you take through May about how that connection is spiritual spiritual to you in some way. Just, I'm just going to tell you what my guides give me. <laughs> so anyway, that was your forecast for May. If that's been helpful, do you like, do you share, do you comment. If you'd like to know more about me and my services, the links are just down below. Or if you'd like to join my Facebook community, the links are also down below as well. So that was your forecast, your love forecast for May 2017, you gorgeous Capricorns, and I hope to see you again next month. Take care. Bye-bye.